um, and I knew that was irrational, you know, later on, um, but, and I didn't really understand what cancer meant until it happened. Hi you guys, welcome back. So today I am running a few errands, but I thought I would take you guys along because I'm going book shopping today. And there are a few books that I have my eyes on that I'd like to get, but also one of my favorite local bookshops. Well, I don't know if they just opened up, but I know they're getting back to their normal hours. Um, so I thought I would go and see what I can find. This bookstore has mostly used books, but it has a few brand new books, which is really cool. Um, I love supporting local bookstores rather than going to bigger companies. I mean, going to those bigger companies are fine, but I love supporting local bookshops, and there's a few local ones that I absolutely love to go to. Um, but today I'm just going to one of them, so I thought I'd take you guys along, and if I find anything, who knows, I might do a book haul. So, um, tune in for that, and <laughs> I'm really excited for today. Um, yeah, I've really been getting into reading more books again, and I'm really happy because I've always been a very big bookworm for as long as I can remember. Um, so it's been nice to actually have that passion to read again. Um, so before I go, I thought I'd do an app of the day. We have this hair scarf that is from Kristen Maid, and then we have this blouse that is from Free People, but I actually thrifted it from Changing Hands on Instagram. So I'll link them a link them below. That's where I get thrift a lot of my clothes. And that's also where I got this adorable leather purse. Like it's just so cute. And I've been looking for a purse like this for a long, long time. So got that on Changing Hands as well. Then I have my blue jeans. These are Levi's. I got them from Macy's. <laughs> These shoes, I have no idea. Um, I've literally had them since 8th grade. <laughs> and they still fit. <laughs> some books and I'm so excited to show this with you guys. The first book that I have is The Log from the Sea of Cortez by John Steinbeck and it says in 1940 John Steinbeck sailed in a sardine boat with his great friend the biologist Edward F. Ricketts to collect marine invertebrates from the beach of the Gulf of California. This is the day-to-day -day story of the trip, a wonderful combination of science, philosophy, and high-spirited adventure. Included here, too, is Steinbeck's profile of his collaborator about Ed Ricketts. So I saw this. I was drawn to the picture because it's beautiful. But um, I thought this would be a good second book for me to read um, of John Steinbeck's. Um, I've read the Cannery of Rowe, Cannery of Rowe, I've read the, wow I'm tired, I've read Cannery Row, <laughs> and um, as you saw on my bookshelf tour, I had this book here that's called uh, Steinbeck's Ghost, which is not written by Steinbeck, but I feel like it's a, it's a YA book, and I feel like it's a good intro. To John Steinbeck. So this is what I'd read first before Canary Row. Um, so I thought this would be a good second book. Um, I, I honestly haven't read a lot of John Steinbeck's books just because 
A, I know how dark they are, and B, none, I mean, I was homeschooled um, first through seventh grade, but even eighth grade in high school, and from what I've had in college, um, reading John Steinbeck was not a requirement. So I was never really told to read it, <laughs> um, which is good because my mom had told me when I was younger that, you know, read John Steinbeck when you're ready, um, just because of the topics of some of the books. So I'm glad that no one really rushed me to read John Steinbeck. That way, when it came time to me finally being ready to read John Steinbeck, I would be able to enjoy it. <laughs> the next book that I have, as I said earlier, this place also sells um, new books as well. So it's used and new. Um, and I found one of the books that's on my list. And that is Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. Probably butchering that last name. Um, but I'll read what it's about because I'm not really sure. But it just it sounded really interesting because I've heard a lot of booktubers talking about it recently. Camino Rios lives for the summers when her father visits her in the Dominican Republic. But this year, on the day when his plane is supposed to land, Camino arrives at the airport to see crowds of people crying. In New York City, Yahara Rios is called to the principal's office, where her mother is waiting to tell her that her father, her hero, has died in a plane crash. Separated by distance and Poppy's secrets, the two girls are forced to face a new reality in which their father is dead and their lives are forever altered. And then, when it seems like they've lost everything, they learn of each other. Poppy's death uncovers all the painful truths he kept hidden and the love he divided across an ocean. And now, Yahara and Camino are both left to grapple with what a new sister means to them and what it will take to keep their dreams alive. In a novel in verse, in a novel in verse that brims with both grief and love, award-winning and best-selling author Elizabeth Acevedo writes about the devastation of loss, the difficulty of forgiveness, and the bittersweet bonds that shape our lives. I just think this just sounds like such an interesting book and also the cover is so pretty and even the hardbound of it is just so pretty as well. So I mean I'm I'm a sucker for beautiful covers. I I judge a book by its cover. I am not gonna deny that. Then the next two books I got which I was so happy about that I had to grab instantly because I knew if I didn't grab them, they would be gone. And that is two comic books of Tintin. So this is Tintin, and it is The Adventures of Tintin, Cigars of the Pharaoh. And this one is The Adventures of Tintin, the Black Island. So something that not a lot of people know is that Along with the Peanuts slash Charlie Brown, I am a huge Tintin fan. I've read all of his comics and they're so good. I had a friend once who actually had like the entire set and so she let me borrow it and I would read it and then return it. But there's one book that she had double of and uh, I didn't show this. I don't think I showed this in my bookshelf tour. It was kind of it's mixed along with my childhood books. I didn't want to, when I did the tour, I didn't want to show all of those. But I have um, The Adventures of Tintin, The Broken Ear. So this is the only one I have. And I have been looking and searching for uh, more Tintin books. And what is so cool is that this bookshop started getting more Tintin books because of me. Because the the lady said that, because when I found them, she's like, oh, you found the Tintin books. I'm like, yeah, I love Tintin. And she goes, you know, someone was requesting those a couple months ago. So I looked and we actually have a few more. So I'm gonna start putting more on the shelves in a few months. And <laughs> she little did she know that that person who was requesting them was me. So 
I am so happy. I now have three books in my collection of Tintin. I've there's a few others that are my top favorites, but oh my gosh, there's how many is there in the collection? Is There's, there's 22 books to the collection, but then there's also an extra one that is the art of Tintin of what it was like drawing it and such. Um, she said that some of them are not printed anymore, um, but I think there are about four or five more in here that were my top favorites. So I'm definitely going to keep an eye peeled for those because... Oh my gosh, I've been waiting so long to have more. So, I mean, yeah, I could have gone to Amazon and gotten them, but it's like, it's a lot more special when you can find them in used bookstores. It's like a treasure hunt. So, those are the books that I got today, which I'm very, very excited about. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this book haul, and yeah, you may see some more book-related videos in the future, just because I've kind of gone back to my old self of being a bookworm, which I'm really glad because I, I kind of took a break from reading books for a while. So it's been good to just read and be transported to another world. So it's been really nice. So anyways, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Guys, when you give my channel a thumbs up, it really, really, really helps out my channel and helps it to grow and help people find it. So give this video a big thumbs up and comment below. I do respond to every comment and subscribe if you haven't already and turn on that post notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Don't forget to listen to my podcast, Blooming Roses. You can find it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Play and wherever else you listen to your podcasts. I also have it linked below. And don't forget to find me on Instagram, which is also linked below. Um, I'm pretty active on Instagram, so you can find me there as well. Anyways, guys, I will talk to you guys next week. Bye!